Looking for a tasty way to make billions? Look no further than Dunkin' Donuts. With its signature blends of coffee and mouth-watering donuts, this iconic brand has become a household name across the globe. But how do they do it? In this video, we'll explore the secrets behind Dunkin's success and show you how to turn your own small business into a thriving empire. One delicious donut at a time. Get ready to take a bite out of the competition and start making some serious dough. Here's the story of Dunkin and how they made billions from donuts. Let's get started. Let's take a trip back in time to the bustling shipyards of Quincy, Massachusetts during World War II. Here, William Rosenberg worked alongside hardworking laborers who had few options for lunch. Seeing an opportunity to fill this gap in the market, Rosenberg borrowed $1,000 and used $1,500 in bonds to start an industrial lunch and services. With old telephone trucks converted into food trucks, he served sandwiches, coffee, donuts, and snacks to the hungry workers. In 1948, Rosenberg opened a restaurant in Quincy called Open Kettle that quickly became popular, grossing over $5,000 per week by selling coffee for 10 cents and donuts for a nickel. However, Rosenberg wasn't satisfied with the name and changed it to Dunkin' Donuts in 1950 after observing customers dunking their donuts in their coffee. As the brand grew in popularity, Rosenberg opened more restaurants across Massachusetts and franchised the business in 1955, eventually growing to over 1,000 locations by 1979, and now more than 12,000 worldwide. In 1963, Robert Rosenberg assumed control of the chain from his father, and he served as the head until 1999. As a graduate of Harvard Business School, Robert implemented various changes to the company's operations during his tenure. These changes included simplifying the menus, adopting paper and styrofoam cups, and adding new items like muffins, bagels, donut holes, croissants, breakfast sandwiches, culottas, and other beverages. Robert also initiated a national advertising campaign that revamped the store layout by replacing stools and counters with tables. Additionally, he expanded the company's reach by offering Dunkin' Donuts in non-traditional locations and selling franchises to multi-unit operators. To facilitate growth, Robert introduced satellite locations and a commissary system that eliminated the need for large buildings to produce and finish donuts. In 1983, Dunkin' Donuts launched an advertising campaign highlighting the freshness of its brand. They aimed to find an actor who could portray a friendly and trustworthy baker, hoping that customers would link this image with their brand. After conducting hundreds of auditions, Michael Vail was eventually chosen. From 1981 to 1997, Vail starred as Fred the Baker in Dunkin' Donuts' commercials, and the public quickly developed an affection for him. In these commercials, Fred would wake up early, declare his famous catchphrase, time to make the donuts, head straight to the kitchen, make a fresh batch of donuts, and happily serve them to customers at Dunkin' Donuts. This instilled a sense of faith in the brand's dedication to serving freshly baked goods, a clear distinction from those sold in supermarkets. With Dunkin' earning people's trust, let's now see what happened next. Today, Dunkin' Donuts is one of the top food chains, recognized for its fresh food items, innovative marketing techniques, and exciting new donut concepts. It's fascinating that they're responsible for the birth of the donut spelling, previously written as donuts. This sparked a debate about spelling conventions. With 6.4 million donuts sold daily and 1.9 billion cups of coffee sold yearly, they have become the most extensive franchise for donuts and bagels worldwide. Dunkin' Donuts is famous for its cost-friendly appeal, which many people prefer over Starbucks. Their advertisements and campaigns are known to set a friendly tone, and they introduced a new concept called on-the-go ordering, 
which allows customers to place orders 24 hours in advance. They have had celebrity spokesmen like Al Pacino and support many charities, fundraisers, medical research, hospitals, and cancer institutes. Dunkin' Donuts uses taglines to target specific groups. With its pink and orange logo appealing to children, their tagline, Time to Make the Donuts, aimed to improve their image with the working class by presenting a relatable picture of dedication towards work. America Runs on Dunkin' emphasized that many Americans start their day with donuts and coffee. The You Can Do It campaign stressed encouragement and motivation, portraying them as loyal friends to their customers. Despite being successful, Dunkin' Donuts has had its fair share of controversies. Over the years, Dunkin' Donuts has been involved in various controversies. In 2013, they faced accusations of using blackface in an advertisement, featuring a woman in Thailand promoting her chocolate donuts. The Thailand DD CEO refused to apologize, dismissing it as paranoid American thinking. But the company headquarters later did apologize. In 2017, Dunkin' Donuts was hit with multiple lawsuits, including claims of not using real blueberries, using margarine instead of butter, and using beef instead of steak. In 2018, a Baltimore branch of the chain displayed a sign on their counter asking customers to report employees who spoke languages other than English. This sparked outrage and was considered a racist move. Dunkin' Donuts eventually acknowledged the sign's inappropriateness and removed it. Additionally, there have been allegations that Dunkin' Donuts throws away unsold donuts instead of donating them to food banks. In January 2019, Dunkin' Donuts officially announced that they would drop donuts from their name. Following a test run in some stores in 2018, the decision was based on the fact that 60% of their revenue came from beverages, particularly coffee. Additionally, the company recognized that the growing trend of health-conscious consumers might lead to declining donut sales. However, it is essential to note that the name change does not mean Dunkin' is eliminating donuts from its menu. Donuts will continue to be a part of the food chain's offerings, and customers can still enjoy their favorite morning treats before heading to work.